After more than a week in space, the shuttle Endeavour is about to come back to Earth with the astronauts and all their animals, more animals in fact than they left with. CNN's Tony Clark has been following this mission. He joins us now to help us bring the mission to an end. And Tony, this one's going to uh, land a little bit differently than previous ones, correct? This will land a little differently. In fact, as uh, you can see here, the shuttle is coming in uh, right now. It's less than 14 miles from the Kennedy Space Center. When it lands, it will Continuing deploy a drag right. chute. Now, we've seen that twice before, but for the first time, it will deploy the drag chute while its nose wheel is still up in the air. They want to use the drag chute to uh, slow the shuttle down, and it, it's something, a system that they want to uh, finely tune and, and develop because they're using Endeavor shorter Houston, runways. They want to be final. able to uh, preserve the, uh, the brakes, put less stress on the brakes on the shuttle, and uh, so they're going to try out this uh, drag chute. This has been a mission of first. Uh, this is the uh, first Japanese professional astronaut on a U.S. Uh, spacecraft, the first black woman astronaut, the first married couple on the, uh, on the shuttle. It has been a long mission, eight days. It is landing later than planned. It was originally planned to land around 7.19 Eastern time this morning, uh, but weather problems uh, caused a delay. Weather seemed to clear up, and so now it's on its way in. Let's listen. Three thousand feet. Landing gear down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Drag chute deploy. Nose gear touchdown. So the 50th uh, shuttle mission comes to an end. This, uh, the drag chute appearing to work perfectly, it uh, is released there. As I say, this is the first time it's been used with the nose wheel still in the air. And uh, so as I say, the 50th U.S. shuttle mission end comes to an end. And of course, CNN will be right back with more in just a minute. Tony Clark at CNN Center. The Space Shuttle Endeavour has returned to the Kennedy Space Center. Here you can see a live shot from the Kennedy Space Center. The astronauts just landed just a few moments ago using a drag chute to slow Endeavour down. This is the eighth, uh, second shuttle flight of Endeavour. It landed just a moment ago. In fact, let's take a look at that landing. Many gear down and locked. You'll see the, uh, the nose gear is still up in the air when the drag chute comes out. This was a, a, a secondary test, a, a DTO, as the uh, NASA officials drag call it, deploy. a test of the drag chute. This is the third time a drag chute has been used, but the first time it has been used when nose the gear uh, nose down. gear is up. They wanted to land, NASA wanted to land at the Kennedy Space Center rather than going to Edwards. In fact, uh, postponed the first landing opportunity so that they could land at Kennedy because that's where the scientists are to receive all the animals, all the results, the crystals and the like from the uh, week-long experiments on board the Space Lab. This was a heavy shuttle landing. Uh, the shuttle itself weighs uh, 219,000 pounds, so it was, a, it was a heavy shuttle coming in on runway 33. Right now, the astronauts are still in board. They're turning off the various systems. And uh, what we will see uh, over the next several minutes is uh, various uh, pieces of equipment come out to uh, try and check the air, make sure that the air, there are no toxic uh, uh, gases in the air. And then uh, probably a half hour or so before the astronauts themselves 
step outside of the shuttle and, and walk around it. So the, the 50th U.S. shuttle mission comes to a successful end. The next mission planned for the middle of October. Ralph? Tony Clark, thank you very much. Uh, again, we apologize for interrupting Travel Guide. We wanted to bring you that landing live. And I'll be back with a look at the top stories right after this. Ended its second voyage in space with a picture-perfect landing in Florida. CNN's Tony Clark joins us now with a look at the mission. Tony? Ralph, we have seen a number of these landings. This is the uh, 50th shuttle mission for the United States, and they are still fascinating to watch. In fact, this is the shuttle Endeavour, the uh, replacement for the Challenger, sitting on the runway, runway 33 at the Kennedy Space Center, uh, as, as the uh, ground crews go around, first checking for any kind of toxic gases, and then the crew is inside, the, uh, the crew of seven, they are turning off the various switches, getting out of their bright orange uh, launch and entry suits. It will take them about a, a half half hour or so before they leave the shuttle to get everything shut down. It was just a short time ago that the shuttle landed. It was a day and an hour or so, a couple of hours late, landing at the Kennedy Space Center. Main this is what it looked lock. like. Main gear touchdown. Drag chute deploy. This is the first time a drag chute has been used when the shuttle's nose That's gear is up. Yeah. This is the third time a drag chute itself has been used uh, on one of the shuttles. NASA wants to try out the drag chute as a means of slowing the shuttle down so that the shuttle can land on shorter runways and also it puts less wear and tear on the brakes. NASA wanted to land at the Kennedy Space Center and in fact, took pains to land at the, uh, the Kennedy Space Center because that's where the equipment is and the researchers are to get the results, the animals and the results of the various experiments that have been conducted in the Space Lab module over the last week. That's where they are prepared to get them. And so NASA put off landing at the Kennedy Space Center this morning uh, by one orbit, about 90 minutes or so, so that they could have an opportunity for better weather at the Kennedy Space Center. And, and as you could tell, uh, with the uh, just few clouds, the uh, bad weather, the storms, moved out to sea, and it was a beautiful landing for the shuttle Endeavour. As I say, this was the 50th shuttle mission, a mission filled with first. The next shuttle mission scheduled for the middle of October, and of course, we will bring you coverage throughout of that.